Hi, I'm Dan and this is Lottie and we're here today to review the Magic Bullet Air Fryer you see in front of you. So first of all, what do we like about the product? Well, well the product has a small form factor. It's only about 30 odd centimetres high and 20 centimetres wide. So it fits neatly on a bench or uh, in a cabinet and packs away easily when you're not using it. Um, the product is easy to use and easy to clean. There's a dial on the top to set the temperature, though in our experience we found we pretty much left it set to 200 degrees the whole time. Um, you may go a little bit lower if you were say heating vegetables uh, and didn't want the tops to burn. Um, and on the front you have a timer, it's a simple dial, you turn it and there you go, you can hear it. Uh, it doesn't make a lot of noise, it's, it's reasonably quiet. So you do need to make sure that at the back you've uh, got a bit of space because the hot air vents out the back. So don't have it up against um, uh, curtains or anything like that. And then on the front uh, you have up to 60 minutes you can run the unit for and then when it finishes it makes this noise. So you can hear it throughout the house. Um, so you don't necessarily need to be right next to it the whole time mm -hmm. while it's going. Okay. Uh, other things we like about it, Bobby? It cooks it pretty good. It cooks pretty good, yeah. Mm -hmm. So it does a good, a good job. Um, it's got a small basket you can see here in the front where you, you place the food. Um, yeah. And this little rack that comes out that helps the air, the hot air circulate underneath the food. Um, this is easy to clean. You can put it in the dishwasher um, mm -hmm. so if you need to. Though in my experience, it was probably just as easy to wipe with a cloth. Um, and it just slots in and out like that quite easily. Yeah. Um, in terms of, of ease of use, it is very easy to use. There's the two dials, the temperature and the timer. You just fill the food in here. So in the case of say this hash brown, you just place it in the bucket um, and, then, and then on it goes. Um, one thing to note about cooking with it is that you do need to turn the food halfway through the cooking cycle. Um, otherwise you, you get um, too much heating on the top and not enough heating on the bottom um, which can be problematic and you've got to be very careful not to overfill the basket so um, I would recommend only ever going to about halfway up the basket any, any higher than that and the food doesn't really cook um, so it's it's good for probably one or two people for a meal um, but probably certainly no more than that it, it's not bad if you're supplementing foods so if you're doing say chicken nuggets um, or, or chips or something for the kids. Yeah, it works quite well uh, separately. Yeah. Um, other good features about it are low, a low power usage, drawing only 1300 watts when in use. So compared to a standard oven at 2400 watts. So it's, you know, let's say two thirds the power. Um, and you know, that's not too bad in terms of use. So overall, uh, not a bad, unit for, for probably one or two people, um, especially for the convenience of just uh, cooking things you know, fairly quickly. Yeah. Most, most meals I would say cook in about 15 minutes, um, which is fairly typical of an air fryer. Um, on the downside, if you're looking to cook for more people, I would say go for a slightly bigger unit. Um, and if you want a completely hands-free solution, maybe look for something that has a rotating basket. This still requires intervention to turn the food sort of halfway through. Um, but overall, the price point is probably pretty good for what you get. Um, and the form factor is nice and small and it is easy to clean. Um, so, so overall, uh, not, not a bad unit. Um, doesn't take a lot of time, easy to clean um, and easy to use. And not a lot of moving parts, which means it hopefully won't break. Um, on you over time.